My wife, uh, Clara, well, she and I have been married for 33 years, and uh, we've got uh, four girls and one boy, and uh, three of them are married. I've still got two at home. But uh, I was born in a little place called Patterson, North Carolina, and moved to the big town of Illinois when I was six years old. And that's when I started bass, started singing bass when I was six. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I used to go around and say, Mama, what did you do in my past? <laughs> <laughs> Never forget one uh, night some boys who lived up the hill from where I did invited me to go to Gamewell School in uh, Gamewell, North Carolina to hear a group called the Harmoneers. Uh, Happy Edwards, uh, Seals Hilton, uh, Fred C. Maples. Uh, and uh, so I went, sat on the front row. And when uh, they walked out on the stage and Seals Hilton started hitting those big, low, smooth, low notes that he did back then. My mouth fell open, and for an hour and a half, I slobbered all over <laughs> my shirt, you know. And I guess that's when I really knew that that was what I wanted to do, should the Lord allow me to, or would the Lord allow me to. We were singing in uh, Columbia, South Carolina, or was it Charleston, South Carolina, with the uh, Tallies, and uh, Larry O'Rell was a promoter, well, we were on stage singing, and the auditorium in this college happened to be near a swamp. Well, this frog had come out of the swamp, and somehow or another was sitting at the back door of that auditorium, uh, and Kirk and, and uh, Larry said it was sitting there listening to me sing. <laughs> so they took it. But on my, my bus, one of the guys let him on my, the bus, one of, one of my friends <laughs> let him on the bus, and put it in my bunk. And well, it jumped around so much that, that it jumped out of the bunk, they caught it again. Finally, they put it in a box, put it in my shaving kit, knowing that when I got through singing, I'd come to open my shaving kit and change clothes. And I saw this box. It was heavy. I opened it up, and there was, I have decided later that it wasn't a frog. It was a small dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> but I looked, and I said, it couldn't be real. It's too heavy. And about that time, that thing jumped out right on my heart. I like to die. <laughs> I fell around on that floor, skinting my elbows, trying to get away from that frog. And uh, I'm going to kill Kirk. <laughs> you know. Kirk Talley is, is due for killing. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill him and tell God he died. <laughs>